This episode is brought to you by Empower. It's a free app that can help you save and budget money. I've been utilizing it for months now. To get it, simply go to empower.me slash company man or click the link in the description. Okay, this is fascinating. I'm sure a lot of my viewers like watching my videos to pick up on some of those little interesting facts. I'm talking about that stuff that you can casually bring up at dinner or when you see a brand in the store. You know, DiGiorno frozen pizzas are made by Nestle or General Electric no longer makes the appliances with their name on it. My videos are filled with little takeaways like that. But here, I may have found the biggest one to date. We're talking about Arm & Hammer. It's a huge brand most known for their baking soda. I'm sure most of you have heard of it. Arm and Hammer sounds almost exactly like the name Armand Hammer. So wouldn't it be great if Armand Hammer was actually named after a person named Armand Hammer? Well, there is somebody named Armand Hammer, and he's actually a big time Hollywood actor. He goes by Army Hammer for short. Among other things, you'd know him from playing both of the Winklevoss twins in The Social Network a few years ago. Now, obviously Armand Hammer can't be named after Army Hammer since Army Hammer's in his 30s and Armand Hammer goes back to the 1800s, but Army Hammer was named after his millionaire great-grandfather Armand Hammer. And I know where you think this is going, but it's even better than you're thinking. Armand Hammer also wasn't born yet when the name Armand Hammer was created, and in fact he had nothing to do with the company. But in 1986, at age 88, Armand Hammer spent $15 million to purchase about 5% of the company and become a board member. The reason he did it is because when people heard his name, they would always ask him if he had any relation to the company, and he was tired of saying no. So after this, when anyone said, Arm and Hammer, any relation to Arm and Hammer? He could now answer, yes. That's one of the most fascinating stories I've ever heard. Please go and share that with everyone you know. If you ever need a conversation starter, I don't think you'll do much better than that. The reason I said that just about everyone has heard of Arm & Hammer is because their logo is all over the supermarket, and unless you've recently celebrated your 150th birthday, they've been around your entire life. Their name and the logo go back to 1867, and their origins go back 20 years before that, which leads me to a question that I've had for a while. This is their logo, it has a picture of an arm holding a hammer, which fits in perfectly with their name, but... Why? Why would a company known for their baking soda call themselves Arm & Hammer and use a logo like that? I mean, what's the relation? I'm actually asking because I don't have a great answer. I can tell you that shortly before they started using that name and logo in the mid-1800s, they acquired a spice business named Vulcan Spice Mills, and they used that logo. So that's where it comes from. The reason Vulcan Spice Mills used the logo is because Vulcan is the Roman god of fire. Being the god of fire includes metalworking, which involves hammering metal on anvils, which is what's depicted in in the logo. As a side note, the Socialist Labor Political Party of America uses a very similar logo. Armand Hammer's father was a member of this party and likely named his son after this logo. So still not completely sure if that has any relation to the business we've been talking about, but at least it tells us that his name was intentionally Arm and Hammer. So what we know is that Arm and Hammer took the logo from an unrelated company that they acquired and and they used the logo because it fit with their company's name, which was Vulcan. I still have the questions of why a spice company would go by the name Vulcan, and why Arm & Hammer would put that logo on baking soda. There's a lot of theories out there, but I'm not completely convinced by any of the ones I've heard so far, so let me know if you can connect these dots. I'm not going any deeper with it because we're pretty far into this video and I've done nothing but talk about their name and the logo. We have to move on. I've been treating it like Arm & Hammer is the name of the company, but it's not. It's just 
just a brand that they own. The actual company started in 1846 and was called John Dwight and Company. It started with John Dwight and his brother-in-law Austin Church making baking soda in their kitchen. At first it was mainly promoted as something you can use for baking, but baking soda is a really cool product. You can use it for just about everything. Cleaning your house and brushing your teeth and deodorizing things. They soon adopted this as their trademark. It's a prize winning cow named Lady Maud. And then why a cow as their trademark? <laughs> No, no, I'm not falling into this again. After 20 years like this, Austin Church retired from the company and his two sons formed a competing company called Church and Company. This is where Arm & Hammer comes into the story. Church and Company started selling Arm & Hammer baking soda while John Dwight and Company continued selling cow brand baking soda. The two separate businesses were competing against each other. After almost another 20 years, now 1896, the two merged together to form Church Dwight Company. Skipping ahead to the late 1960s, they grew tremendously and their core focus was still baking soda. But as it turns out, a lot changed in the world over those past 70 years, and people stopped using baking soda for all these purposes. Baking soda has a tremendous variety of uses, but for most of those uses, there's now many alternative options that probably work a little better. Like, what do you use to brush your teeth? Is it baking soda? I doubt it. There's an entire aisle of products that are made specifically for that purpose, and just work better as a result. What do you use when you clean your countertops? Again, probably not baking soda, since there's an entire aisle of lemon and orange scented products that are just better. Arm & Hammer recognized the issue they were having, and to solve it, they started making their own specialized products. They were already known for all of these uses, so for the customers who had abandoned them for better specialized products made by someone else, were willing to switch back to a name that they knew, now that they were offering something a little better. And that's why we now see their name on everything. During this time, they introduced their own laundry detergent, oven cleaner, deodorant, they made their own toothpaste later on. I suppose they decided to focus more on specializing in cleaning products rather than cooking products. Even today, they have a bigger presence in the cleaning market, though they haven't abandoned cooking. It's all evidenced by the homepage of their website. They show people baking and tell us they're so much more than clean. And plus, it's called baking soda. They're generally found in the baking aisle. They're not abandoning their efforts in the baking market anytime soon. And even though all of this didn't do much for their baking soda sales, it did cause their overall sales to increase tremendously. But then also during this time, they found a way to increase their baking soda sales too. You know how you do the thing where you open up one of these boxes and stick it in the back of your refrigerator or freezer to make them smell better? Today there's even a separate box designed for that. In the early 90s, 1970s, they had a big ad campaign where they told everyone to go do that, and everyone started doing that. And their baking soda sales increased 72% over the next three years. I'm the box of baking soda you left in the refrigerator. Back then, I could really absorb those food odors. Today, the company that owns Arm & Hammer is the same one it's always been. It's called Church & Dwight, but it's grown really big. For a quick comparison, in 1981, after they experienced a really successful decade of new specialized products and people putting baking soda in their freezers, their sales for the year totaled to $127 million. In 2017, their sales were over $3.7 billion, which is about 30 times larger. Partially due to the strength of the Arm & Hammer name, but also over the past 20 years, they've added a bunch of different brands to their business. There's extra brand laundry detergent spelled without an E. They offer a bunch of different scents and different colored bottles. And then there's Origel, who according to them are the most trusted brand of pain relief and oral care solutions for young children and adults. They help with toothaches and things like that. Along those same lines, water pick, spelled without a C. Instead of flossing your teeth, you can use the water pressure from their contraption to shoot things loose. There's Nair for hair removal, first response pregnancy test, OxyClean. Billy Mays here for OxyClean, the stain specialist. He's not really here, but that does explain why this commercial exists. 
And there's so many more brands, over 80 in total. I think I'll leave it at that and save the details of all this for a possible future bigger than you know episode. This video was meant to focus on Arm and Hammer rather than Church and Dwight, but for now, I'll just say Church and Dwight has come a long way from making baking soda in their kitchen. Let me know in the comments if you can shed any more light as to why they're called Arm and Hammer. I guess I'm a little caught up on that and realize there might not even be a satisfying answer, but do what you can. Also, that little story I told about Arm and Hammer in the beginning, go tell it to someone else and then come back and let me know if they were as fascinated by it as I am. I realize I set the bar pretty high on that. And if you have any other little stories or facts like that, please tell me. I doubt you could beat mine, but I'm always happy to hear something like that. Let me know if you want to see that Bigger Than You Know episode and let me know any other thoughts you have on Arm and Hammer or Arm and Hammer. I'd like to hear what you have to say. I wanted to tell you more about Empower, and here's what I would hope for everyone to do. Go and download this free app, link it to your bank account, and go down to the report section. Open that up and just take a look at it. It visually breaks down where you're spending all your money. You can look at different time periods and drill down into each category to see more detail. I'm betting you'll see a few things that surprise you. For example, maybe it helps you realize that you're spending way too much money on your groceries. And now that you know, you can take steps to fix it. The app can even help you with that by setting spending limits. And then just explore the rest of the app. There's so much stuff on here that can help you financially Financially. They have a financial coaching section. Just text them a question and an Empower expert will answer it for you. The app will look for savings and everyday transactions like your cable bill or insurance plan. It'll give you intelligent alerts to let you know when your bills are due. That's one of my favorite features. And there's so much more. All you have to do is go to empower.me slash companyman, that's C-O-M-P-A-N-Y-M-A-N, to get your free account and start saving today. Thank you for watching.